thank you guys. Listen, you've done really well because it's been a really long couple of days and it, there's, a, there's a lot of stuff that we've been going on. So um, the fact that it's now Friday night, the uh, party is, is beckoning shortly. I think you've done extraordinarily well to be here. So listen, I really appreciate uh, your coming to the very, very last talk of today. Now, luckily, this is quite a short one. Uh, and it's quite a light one as well, so you'll be able to just uh, soak this up and, uh, and, and enjoy it. So my name is uh, Jason Dean. Oh, I've got a button. That's even better. Uh, so my name is Jason Dean, and um, I'll press the little button again. I get to talk about myself for about a minute. Um, I've been uh, in full-time in the crypto space for a number of years now. Um, I would say probably around 2017 was when the transition began, and... Um, the thing is, that wasn't the first time I discovered Bitcoin, and this is kind of important, and we're going to come back to that story in just a second. But I had actually discovered it before then, uh, quite a few years before then, and couldn't make head nor tail of it. I mean, I really didn't understand it. I researched it online, uh, which was obviously a bit of a mistake, particularly in sort of 2013. Whatever articles were there tended to be quite negative, or they tended to be very um, technical, or they tended to be um, just very badly written, really. And I made a terrible mistake because I Googled what do economists think of Bitcoin. And of course, I got opinions from Peter Schiff and Paul Krugman and uh, Rory Rabini, all these sort of guys, which you know, completely put me off because I thought these guys really must know what they're talking about. So I didn't actually get involved at that point, which was obviously a bit of an error. But we're going to come back to that point in just a moment. So since then, fast forward a few years, started getting involved with Bitcoin properly. And one day I had a conversation with my mum about what Bitcoin is, which was interesting because, uh, you know, she was in her late 70s at the time, didn't have the internet, didn't have a mobile phone, uh, didn't see the point of either of those things. So trying to explain something like Bitcoin really didn't go very well. Uh, and I don't think either of us came out of that um, particularly well. So I wrote, uh, I've really written one book. I wrote my second book, How to Explain Bitcoin to Your Mum, which was really for an audience of one. Um, but it, the book did okay, and that started me on this path of you know, really getting into Bitcoin and, and researching it and writing about it and all that kind of stuff. And fast forward a couple of years, and I became top writer on Medium for, for Bitcoin economics and various other categories. I uh, also started talking to mainstream media, um, particularly Telegraph, Bloomberg, Newsweek, all those sort of guys. Um, and then I got into um, Bitcoin mining, actually started a... a uh, mining uh, in my business, actually, and there's a, there's a chap at the back here sitting quietly with his head down who did uh, actually do quite a lot of the work involved with that, so nice to see you here, Alex, as well. These days, I'm chief analyst, uh, Bitcoin analyst at um, Quantum Economics, which is Matty Greenspan's operation, and I also run the um, Bitcoin Pioneers project. I'm community lead for that. And in case you're wondering, that's me looking very pleased with myself at the uh, Bitcoin money operation in Russia. Um, that one is still running, but it has got quite interesting over the last six months, but uh, we don't need to uh, come back to that. But Today, we're really just going to be talking about Bitcoin Pioneers and what it's all about. I need to press the button. That's it. There we go. So what are we? Well, take my own example. And I'm sure everyone in this room has got their own example. And it's probably very similar. So in my case, I discovered Bitcoin 2013. I didn't know anyone who knew anything about it. And as a result, I, went, I took a wrong turn, essentially. So... Had I had someone like me now there, I would have been able to talk to them and find out really what it was about and you know, avoid all of the mess that ensued over the next few years. Would have shortened that journey massively. And that kind of got us thinking to find a way to make it easy for people to get started with Bitcoin. What could be a simple way that we could do it? And that's really where this community came about, and it started at the beginning of last year. We're a UK-wide community. All of the people involved with Bitcoin Pioneers do other things. Some of them are in the industry, um, others aren't. They just do their normal day jobs. And we just all share a passion of talking about Bitcoin and helping drive that adoption and education. And, and that's what we, we do. Let's just press that. Oh, I've pressed it too many times now. So the idea is you're talking to someone that you know, because we all have our own networks, don't we? We've all got different circles of friends. And within those networks, perhaps you've got a little bit of weight in what you say. Perhaps people trust your opinion. 
Perhaps they don't. It doesn't always work like that. But the reality is, if people know you and they know you're into Bitcoin, they will tend to ask you questions about it. So wouldn't it be great if you could find a way to effectively be paid to help spread the adoption and the education of Bitcoin? So the key line, I always say, is the person you would have liked to have been able to speak to at that point. All right, so the knowledge you guys have in this room now, I know there's lots of other things, you know, particularly this conference is about lots of different things, but just think about how much knowledge you have now about Bitcoin and how useful that would have been when you first made that discovery of Bitcoin all those years ago, or maybe it was more recently. So this is our mission. It is drive Bitcoin, drive adoption and education of Bitcoin in the UK. That's it. We don't deal with anything else because the mission is all about getting those foundations, getting those building blocks in place to start with. So how do we do that? Well, if you think about your own journey here for a second, when you first discovered Bitcoin, you probably had the same questions I had. You probably have the same questions as the person sitting next to you in this room. You look at it, you read an article, someone tells you about it, and you think, what the hell is that? And then you think, okay, fine. Um, so, you know, I, I sort, of, sort of get it, but, you know, then you tend to have some objections to that. First of all, you know, if I buy some, will I lose my real money? So pounds and dollars, et cetera, et cetera, because that's how we're conditioned. We think, you know, that's the real money. Bitcoin is the, this imaginary magic internet money. Of course, we know now that that's perhaps not the case. But at that point, it's a big fear of losing money. So you don't want to put any money into it because you've heard all these terrible stories about how people lost all their money. The next question is, okay, fine. Well, let's say this thing is real. How the hell do I get started with this? I mean... If it's not real, how do you hold it? Where do you store it? Um, where do I put it? What do I do with it? How do I even obtain it in the first place? I mean, what, all these questions link to that particular issue. And the next one is, well, if I did get it, what do I actually do with it? So these are all very fair questions, and you've probably had a selection of different ones of, of, of your own you know, yourself. So wouldn't it be great if we could find a way to very quickly solve all of those problems? Well, you can. The way that we do this is we have partnered with Luno. Luno, you may know, is one of the main sponsors of this event. And uh, Luno is a fabulously simple wallet. Um, it is perfect for beginners. Now, back in the day, I used to send people to Coinbase, Binance, that kind of stuff, which were kind of the go-to um, places at the time. If you use those, you might be used to it, but if you're a new user and you rock up and there's a lot of charts and they're just looking at it thinking, what the hell is a trading pair? I just want to buy some Bitcoin, you know? It just seems too complicated to do. So as a result, we partnered with Luno because their app is beautiful, it's simple, it's safe, it's secure, and it's got lovely big buttons that say things like buy Bitcoin and here's my wallet. So it was just, you know, if you're in the early stages of Bitcoin, you couldn't get much better than that. So I was really doing some work with Luno at the time and we kind of formulated this idea between us that they would fund us with as much Bitcoin as we needed if we would give it as a gift to people um, to give away. And the idea was to break down those initial barriers. So how do I store it? What does it look like? So on and so forth. Well, now you can solve that problem by giving £10 to anyone you like to get them set up on it. So now, now we've got all, that first section of, of the problems broken down. So, an actual fact, you can do that here today. I forgot I put that in, actually. But um, you can do that here today if you want. If, you've got, if you haven't got a Luno app, you can download the Luno app. You can verify. You can use my own code there, uh, BPJDIN, and you'll see how it works. Um, that, that your £10 will then be added immediately to your wallet. By the way, in the top right-hand corner there, we're actually doing a little Zebu bonus tonight at the party. Is anyone here going to the party tonight? Is anyone here? Oh, yeah, we've got a few going to the party tonight. So if you see any of the Bitcoin pioneers around, actually, can I just ask the Bitcoin pioneers to put their hands up a minute? We've got a few here. Yeah, there's a few over in the corner there. So if you see any of these guys, um, they will give you one of the secret codes um, to grab some extra Bitcoin. But of course, you must have your Luno wallet set up. This is a secret code. A secret code. A secret code. <laughs> 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 I 
I didn't hear a thing. And the next thing, of course, is, okay, you've got your Bitcoin, you've got this little nice simple wallet, which you sort of got an understanding on. Uh, what the hell happens next? And really, what happens next is we want to give these people the basics of what Bitcoin is, the kind of essential collection, if you like, of Bitcoin. So whenever we give out our £10, we also invite people to attend this webinar. We run this webinar at least once a month. Uh, we always do it live, so it's up to date with the latest uh, information. And it's a light-hearted, easygoing um, presentation. It's the sort of thing you can invite your mum to. Okay? And at the end of it, she'll have the basic understandings of what going uh, what's going on. Now, I know for some people's mums, they probably do understand all of this, but I still think of my mum every time I say that, and she still asks me occasionally what I'm doing with this Bitcoin thing, and that sounds nice, dear. So, um, we try and get them to that webinar. Most people will attend, and they get all those basics, and now they're set up. So, they know what Bitcoin is, how it came about, why it's different from the money we're using today, and why we're all talking about it. So it's a simple process, and I'll tell you what, it's great for people like me, and probably you as well, because I'm sure everyone in this room has had people come up to them and say, oh, you know a bit, bit, you know a bit about Bitcoin. Um, tell me about it. And of course, you've got all this information in your head, and you're thinking, right, where do I start with this? Because I'm, gonna, I'm just going to blurb out a load of stuff, and it will be too much. So this is a great solution. You can say, well, look, here's 10 pounds. Here's the webinar. Take your 10 pounds, go to the webinar. When you've done that, come back, and I'll be here if you've got any further questions. But it really simplifies that process, both for them and for us. So that's what we built the whole community around. So why would you become a BP? Because this, this community, this, it's not massive. There's only about 230, 240 of us, something like that in the UK. It is open to everyone, but it is also a closed community in some ways because there is a little process to go through to join it because we do want you to know a little bit about Bitcoin. So if you're not quite there yet, I'd suggest going to the webinar first. Claim your £10 as well. Drop me a line. Let's have a chat and we can get you set up. Um, but it provides this complete solution that I was talking about. We are here to help drive the adoption and education. And of course, that's a really key part of what's going on in the world right now. We want to educate as many people as possible. And as, as I mentioned earlier, the best way to do that is to do it, if you can, on a one-on-one -on -one basis and plug people in to the kind of solution that we're offering. And of course, it's totally flexible. As I mentioned, all of, all of our BPs pretty much have other things going on. They do other jobs. Um, or some of them are in the industry. So no one really does this full time. It's just a little string to your bow that you have and you can give um, your um, 10 pound code away and ask people to attend the webinar. Now, this is the, uh, the crux of the matter, I guess. There is also an earning capability here. Now, for every 10 pounds that you give out, you will also receive 10 pounds in Bitcoin yourself for making that introduction and getting people started on that process. Now we have, in theory, a cap of 6,000 pounds a year, which is paid in Bitcoin. Um, we do have Bitcoin pioneers who do actually earn that because they really go to town with this. And what we found is that um, people who have communities, who have social media networks, do a lot of events, those sort of thing. They tend to be very proactive in how they promote this, and that works brilliantly for both them and obviously driving the adoption of Bitcoin. But we also have Bitcoin pioneers who do one a month, disappear for six months, come back and do another one. And that's all fine, because once you have your code, your code stays on, and you can just use it. It's always tracked, and you just get uh, paid into your Luno wallet. So these are two examples, yep, so active people tend to use it on blogs, YouTube, there's quite a few people now on YouTube giving out sort of codes and promoting it. Um, obviously the passive one, again, probably about a third of our Bitcoin pioneers just do it this way, is they just wait until someone asks them the question and then they use the process then. So how do you do it? Well, it's, uh, it's open to all, as I mentioned. Um, it's a simple application via the website, so that is bitcoinpioneers.com. Uh, pretty simple to remember. Uh, it's a very complicated form uh, with uh, exactly four entry points in it. That um, will ultimately find its way to me. We'll generally have a chat over Zoom. We can do it live if you want to do it live today. That's what we've been doing at the uh, booth for the last couple of days with, with some of my colleagues here. Um, and uh, we can get you set up usually within sort of 24 hours, get your code live, get you in the group, get you part of the community, uh, explain what the rules are, and, um, and there aren't many of those really, but there's a couple, um, and uh, you uh, just get going. 
So chat, set up, join community. That's it. There's the website. I'm going to be leaving that uh, on the next slide on the screen, so you will have it anyway. Uh, and I think actually that is a QR code to the site, um, which I thought would be extremely handy um, if anyone wanted to scan it. So that's it. That's my little talk. I'm going to leave this one on the screen here, just so you've got all my contact details. By all means, take a photo. I respond to everything, uh, all emails that I get, all, uh, all, all communications through any route, I'll always respond to. Sometimes there's a bit of a delay, particularly if I'm traveling or something, but I will get back to you. Um, as I say, anyone can become Bitcoin Pioneer. You're all welcome. You just need to know a little bit about it and have a passion for it. We'd love to have you part of the community. So if you would like to do that, just hook me up any particular time you'd like. Ladies and gentlemen, well done for being here right at the end of the session. You have done brilliantly, and I really appreciate you being here. Thank you very much.